ของก๋วยจุ๊บ please be seated veuillez vous asseoir on the court is now in session je déclare l'audience ouverte This morning, the chamber will continue to hear the remainder testimony matin, of the witness Ning Wu, and we will then continue to hear the testimony of a, another witness, that is through TCW948. And Ms. Jie Siu Huang, could you report the attendance of the parties and the individuals through today's proceedings? The Grafier, uh, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, Monsieur le Président, all parties to this case are present. The accused Nguyen Chi is present Les in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to waive his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the Grafier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Ning Wu and his duty counsel, Moon So Wan, are present in the courtroom. A reserve witness through TCW948 is here, and his duty counsel is the same one, that is Mr. Moon So Wan. President, Madame thank you, Ms. Jesse Huang. And before Président, the Chamber hand the floor to the defense, we will decide now on the request by Nun Chia. The, the Chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chia dated 12 March 2015. He confirms that he has headache dizziness and cannot sit for long. And in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 12 March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of the accused Nguyen Chia by the duty doctor for the accused the ECCC dated 12 March 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nguyen Chia is that he has a severe back pain and he feels uh, dizziness when sits uh, for long and recommends that the chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuance to Rule 815, the chamber grants Nguyen Chia's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audio resume means for today's uh, proceedings as he waves his status presence in the courtroom. The AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. I'd like now to hand the floor to Kirsten Pond's defense to put questions to witness Ning Uj. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Alors, j'ai peu de questions à vous poser. I have a few questions to put to you. Ce sera donc assez rapide. It will therefore be very Ce sont des questions de, de suivi, de précision. Et la première d'entre elles porte sur vos contacts avec Taron. Je voudrais que vous nous redisiez, parce que je crois qu'il y a eu un problème de traduction, quelle est la distance qui séparait votre domicile de l'endroit où habitait Taron. The distance from my house to Taron's house is about six kilometers. Mon domicile est celui de Taron. Il avait environ six kilomètres. 
Vous avez dit que lorsque vous aviez besoin de prendre des ordres de Taron, vous parcouriez ces 6 km à moto. C'est exact. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. J'y allais à moto. Et il m'a conduit environ 5 à 10 minutes. Et cela me prenait entre 5 à 10 minutes. Et cela me prenait entre 5 à 10 minutes. Et cela me prenait entre 5 à 10 minutes. Et cela me prenait entre 5 à 10 minutes. Pouvez-vous nous préciser quel était le spécifié le type de décision à prendre qui vous amenait à parcourir ces 6 km À partir de quel moment est-ce que vous décidiez d'enfourcher de, votre moto pour aller prendre vos ordres auprès de Taron Est-ce qu'il y avait un, un degré d'importance des décisions à prendre qui déclenchaient chez vous automatiquement ce déplacement to move immediately to Tyrone's place on your motorbike. I already responded to this question. J'ai déjà répondu à cette question. And there were a number of documents that were uh, presented. In those documents, the decisions were made by Taron. Dans ces documents, on trouvait les décisions prises par Taron. On those people in questions. Ces décisions concernaient des personnes. When there were reports from other from the base, then I would immediately go through his press for his decisions. Lorsque des rapports étaient transmis, je devais immédiatement les lui apporter pour qu'il puisse prendre des décisions. Dois-je comprendre de votre réponse qu'en fait, il n'y avait pas de niveau à partir duquel, de niveau d'importance à partir duquel vous vous déplaciez. Toute décision était celle de Taron. Toute prise de décision vous amenait à effectuer ces 6 km. C'est bien cela Decide to go to meet him. Is that correct? Yes, that is the case. Oui, c'est exact. Vous avez aussi indiqué dans les précédents jours que lorsque vous arriviez devant Taron, vous lui présentiez votre rapport, il prenait une décision que vous portiez par écrit. Ce que je voudrais savoir, c'est est-ce que ce processus durait longtemps Vous arrivez chez Taron, vous lui soumettez une décision à prendre. Est-ce qu'il prend un certain temps à prendre ses décisions ou est-ce que euh, c'est fait immédiatement pour vous permettre de repartir aussitôt He would consider the matters for a few hours, and then he made his decision, and I would dictate that decision. Alors moi je devais la mettre par écrit. Vous avez indiqué. Et vous le confirmez à l'instant que Taron, qui était au niveau du secteur, supervisait directement le district de Tramcac par le processus que vous venez de décrire. Est-ce qu'à votre connaissance, ce type d'organisation du district existait ailleurs qu'à Tramcac and not only in Tramcock. Tramcock district was different from other Le districts. Le district de Tramcock était Tramcock différent des autres. Il était tout près du secteur. 
because the provincial town was also part of Tramcock district. And the same thing applies to Kandal uh, province in the current scenario. That Kandal province is uh, very close to uh, Phnom Penh. So he went there because the Tramcourt district was just close or just through the Takai provincial town. As for other districts, decisions would be made by the district committees, respectively. Except the Tramcourt district, he would come down and he would make his own decisions. Connaissez-vous les raisons pour lesquelles une telle organisation a été mise en place, spécialement à Tramcock I did not grasp this matter as it was the matter decided by the upper level. Je n'étais pas au courant car cela relevait de décision de l'échelon supérieur. Pourquoi, lorsque l'on lit les rapports dont vous avez reconnu être l'auteur à cette barre, Constatons que vous vous exprimiez à la première personne du singulier et vous signez de votre main sans jamais faire de mention du fait que les ordres que vous distribuez viennent de Taronne. I did not know about his methodology. However, I was instructed by him to write down his decision. And after, after I considered what happened, it was appearance that there could be a trial like what is going on today because he didn't want him himself to be in, in trouble and it was me who would be in trouble because it was my handwriting. Mais est-ce que Taron vous avez demandé de vous exprimer à la première personne du singulier dans ces billets, dans ces ordres que vous rédigez Est-ce que c'était une instruction qu'il vous avait donnée de rédiger ces documents comme si vous en étiez l'auteur, comme si c'est vous qui preniez ces ordres personnellement He instructed me to dictate Il de his words. I did exactly what I was told by him. Exactement ce il dit de faire. Mais alors pourquoi avez-vous signé de votre nom And in that case, why did you sign in your own hand de celui de Taron? without allowing Taron himself to sign the documents? As I already stated, he instructed me to write uh, his words, and he instructed me to sign my own name. I did not know what uh, was behind his idea. Est-ce que les personnes à qui ces ordres étaient adressés dans le district savaient qu'ils émanaient de Taronne Oui, 
They knew oui, that the orders came from Tarorn because I always told them that I had to go and see Tarorn first. Jusqu'à quelle date ce système d'aller venu vers did that system sector obtain that is the system of going to and fro at the level of the sector for how long was that in place? I continued Vietnam. doing that until the day the Vietnamese troops uh, invaded the Cambodia. C'est-à-dire jusqu'au 6 janvier 1979. Ça fait up to the 6th of January 1979. Is that exact? Man, man, up to the 6th January. Because by the 7th of January, Vietnamese troops Phnom Penh. By the time the Vietnamese were at the outskirts of Takai province, we, we withdrew ourselves. So we were fleeing when the Vietnamese uh, troops nous were entering déjà Cambodia, en and I cannot recall the exact date sur le when we uh, retreated. Je me pas de la date exacte à laquelle nous avons fui. Along the, uh, Vietnamese Cambodian border, à that is uh, le at the Kai province, there had been ongoing Tateo, fighting. And by the combats. time the Vietnamese troops were approaching the, the, the province, nous que les then we uh, withdrew ourselves. Et alors nous nous and it's likely that uh, the event took place in late December 1978. Donc jusqu'à fin décembre 1978, so vous avez continué à aller chercher vos ordres auprès de Taron. C'est bien cela Oui. I had to uh, seek his uh, advice and instructions as to where we had to go. Je demander conseil savoir où je devais aller. Moi, je vous parle d'aller chercher des ordres. I am talking of you going Là, vous me parlez de votre fuite, je crois. Avez-vous continué à aller chercher vos ordres chez Taron jusqu'à fin décembre 1978 until late 1978. And by late 1978, the instruction from him was for us to withdraw from Et our area, that is for our personal security reasons, and headed towards the uh, Thai-Cambodia border. Très eh bien, je vous remercie. Je vais changer de well. I thank you. sujet. I'll go into another line of questioning. Je voudrais vous demander si vous êtes capable d'un like peu plus de précision tell us concernant M. Peshim. Lorsque vous avez répondu aux questions when you answer du juge Lavergne questions put to you by Judge Lavergne avant-hier, le 10 mars 2015, the après 15h, 3 minutes et 29 after secondes, 15 hours, 3 minutes and 29 seconds, vous avez indiqué que vous connaissiez Peshim avant 1970, car son village natal était tout proche de celui de votre épouse. 
et vous avez indiqué qu'il n'avait jamais été votre adjoint ou votre assistant. La précision que je souhaite maintenant vous demander concerne le poste de chef de district de Tramkak qu'aurait occupé Peshin. En êtes-vous informé Et si oui, savez-vous jusqu'à quand Peshim a occupé ses fonctions Do you know about that? And if yes, up to when did Pershing occupy that position? In 1970, in It was Com who was the district secretary. secretary du district. And Com was the first uh, daughter Com of était Tamok. La première fille de Tamok. And I did not know which position Pekchim held at the time. Occupait à And the district secretary at that time was the a woman à that époque, is the first daughter femme, of Tamok, her name Kom. Tamok, qui Kom. Et savez-vous quelles ont été les fonctions you know qu'occupait Peshim après le 17 the avril 1975 Après avril 1975, le Cambodge démocratique l'a nommé to the rubber plantation in the area called Chumka on Dong and I believe it is located in, in Kampung Cham province. I only knew that he was appointed to go there through the Chumka on Dong rubber plantation but I did not know the position he held over there. Savez-vous si après avril 1975, you know April à quelques 1975, moments que ce soit, Peshim regardless of a assuré period, les fonctions de chef de district, Peshim was district quelque part. Head. Anywhere. Kiyom. Après le 17 avril 1975, je n'ai pas su quelle fonction a transferred him to plantation. Que Lankar l'a transféré dans cette plantation des VA. D'accord. Je vais changer de sujet, ce sera d'ailleurs ma dernière ligne de question. Je voudrais revenir sur une réponse que vous avez faite lorsque vous avez été entendu le 28 janvier 2014, c'est-à-dire votre premier procès verbal d'audition. C'est la cote E319.1.15. Et ce sont les questions-réponses 88 et 89. L'enquêteur vous pose la question suivante. Je cite, est-ce que vous étiez interloqué quand le Kampuchea démocratique s'est effondré en 1979, quand les dirigeants se sont réfugiés à la frontière et quand vous avez su que plus de 2 millions d'habitants ont été exterminés à cette question, vous répondez la chose suivante. Je cite, « Je n'ai jamais entendu de telles informations. Cependant, j'ai appris qu'il y a eu des morts quand j'ai fui les Vietnamiens, parce que certains sont morts de faim et certains ont été tués par les Vietnamiens à coups de feu. » L'enquêteur vous rétorque, je cite, 
Il y a des films et des documents qui montrent que plus de 2 millions d'habitants ont été massacrés durant le régime Khmer Rouge. Mais aujourd'hui, est-ce que vous croyez toujours qu'il n'y a pas eu de morts à cette époque ou qu'il n'y a eu des morts que durant la fuite devant les Vietnamiens Et là, vous répondez, je cite, « Il y en avait tellement. » Beaucoup de jeunes ont succombé dans la guerre contre l'Onnol et sous les bombardements des Américains. Beaucoup de gens mouraient. On a enterré beaucoup de morts, mais certains cadavres de jeunes ont été déterrés et transportés à je ne sais pas quel endroit. Fin de citation. Et ma question porte sur votre dernière phrase. Qui est, je le répète, certains cadavres de jeunes ont été déterrés et transportés à je ne sais quel endroit. Pouvez-vous donner des précisions sur cette phrase et sur son sujet De quoi parlez-vous à ce moment-là lorsque vous évoquez des déplacements de cadavres War time between the Democratic Cambodia Force and the Lonol Force. De the DK combatants' casualties were a lot, Les and du their bodies ont connu beaucoup de were pertes. buried. Les at the buried site, were with men. Uh, with and like him. in Angan died, it was at uh, Tabong Kpu. Uh, the women shop or the burial site in uh, Tramkok was at the uh, Angroka. Uh, and the burial site were at other places, namely at Dong Kpu. However, the site had been transformed into a housing residence Mais parfois, ces sites ont été at en lieu Angroka, de résidence. the same thing happens, the burial sites or the, the, the pits or the tombs were transformed les into fosses, health center, or hospital, etc. That enfin, was the reason that uh, I stated uh, what you just uh, read out. Voilà l'explication à ce que vous venez de lire. Et pourquoi donniez-vous ces détails detail à ce moment-là du questionnement des enquêteurs Pourquoi, alors que les enquêteurs sont questionnés sur le, votre connaissance du nombre de victimes du régime du démocratique, pourquoi c'est juste à ce moment-là que vous expliquez qu'il y a eu des déplacements de cadavres Quel est le sens de votre réponse Pourquoi donner ce détail à ce moment-là The number of casualties during the decay period. Pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique, le nombre de victimes was not officially announced uh, on a radio, a radio or there was uh, such a concrete information besides the facts that we only knew uh, the number at the location that we stayed or lived. And during the time that I was fleeing from the uh, Vietnamese invasion, I saw uh, dead bodies of ordinary uh, people who were uh, fleeing, and also I saw the burial site for the uh, DK combatants, namely in Angroka. So I did not know how those uh, bodies uh, disappeared. Maybe the, the bodies were exhumed by the relatives for ceremony. And let me clarify that 
What I stated was uh, happened during the time after the reintegration of the DK forces uh, with the government, and that happened around 1999 or 2000. As I uh, was passing through Angroka to Kohandai. And there was a passage that I was crossing to the south of uh, that area, the mountain, and then I came across the other burial site of the former combatants. Yesterday, when you were answering the questions Copé. put to you by my colleague uh, Victor Coppe, you said that you did not wish to answer any further Vietnam questions regarding Vietnam et ce, afin and votre in order to uh, si ensure your safety. So can you, I would like to know if you would be willing to thème, answer si more questions regarding this, uh, regarding Vietnam, if we held an in-camera hearing. I do not want to uh, give response in relation to the matter raised by you for my security and safety. In Pailan area, where I am living, there are many Vietnamese there. So I am afraid, and there are also peur. Vietnamese uh, in some lot area. Il y a aussi des Vietnamiens dans la région de some lot. As although the the chamber uh, is granting in camera hearings, I si believe I am not uh, able to speak about. I am afraid of uh, uh, speaking clos, in relation to this matter. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions. I have no further questions. Thank you very much, Mr. President. President, thank you. You may proceed, Mr. Kong Samon, Council Kong Samon. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good, mo good morning, Mr. Witness. I would Bonjour, like Monsieur to Thomas. backtrack to the period in the 1970s in relation to your testimony de votre déposition. yesterday and the day after, before yesterday. You said you were a member of the front. What were your roles as a member of the front? Quel était votre rôle en tant que membre du front? Answer. Réponse. As part of the front, I am tasked with propagand propaganda. I la propaganda am appealing. La I was to appeal uh, to people uh, to follow the front. And as we may be aware, the Song Dai O was the head of the front at the time. Council, thank you. Were you aware of the mission of the front? Answer. Réponse. The United Front of Cambodia was to struggle <coughs> and was to struggle against the Lonol period, and uh, the front was to uh, bring uh, some like oil back into the country. Council. À la tête du pays. Could you inform the la court what was the difference between uh, the front à la chambre, and uh, la the, the party le of Democratic Cambodia? Uh, 
answer. I did not know the difference between uh, the CPK and uh, the front. But initially, in 1970, after the coup, the coup United Front of Kampuchea was Le established, and later on, du a été I heard that Par la suite, CPK existed entendu que le C le PCK and asked for the difference concerning the policies of the two. I did not know. I was not aware of it. I first learned that the United Front of Kampuchea was first established, followed by the CPK Council. Thank you very much. In your district, were there any difference in relation to the structure of Front and that of CPK? Entre la structure du Front et celle du PCK. Answer. I did not Réponse. fully know about this matter. However, I, I said I am assigned to propagandize Moi, to appeal to people to join the, the United Front of Cambodia. La propagande et de les inviter à and as for the structure in detail, I did not know. I did not know the difference between the two. Détail, Later on, I was uh, removed by Tassi, as I stated earlier. Council, you, were you aware when uh, the United Front of Cambodia dis, uh, disappeared? Savez-vous quand le front du ni du Cambodia a disparu? Answer. I did not know when uh, Réponse. Je the United Front of Cambodia ended. Quand le front As I said, I uh, fell fin. sick uh, for uh, six dit, months after my return. Après mon Council, thank you very much. La Défense, je vous remercie. I would like to discuss with you in relation to your roles. You said that you were a secretary for two districts, districts and you stated also that uh, you never became a district uh, secretary. I would like to know, in relation to your work as a secretary, votre travail en whom tant que did you work with? Avec qui travaillez-vous? Answer. You asked me about my role in Réponse. as a secretary, as a, an assistant in two districts in Kohondai. I held the work of. Tassian and Tatian, when they ordered me to go to the field and work site, I uh, would follow his order. So, I, as I said, I would follow their orders. In Tramcourt district, when I was an assistant, lorsque j'étais assistant au district de Tramcourt, I was asked to help Tachet and Tachai. Tachai. These two individuals assigned me to dig the canal, Ces deux to work de in the work site work site in the field, so I followed dans their instructions. I was asked to help them in those work sites. Council. Thank you very much. I would like uh, défense, to hear in detail concerning the work that you assisted at that time. Que vous à cette Compared to 
other categories uh, with the same uh, function and roles, whom did you work with? Could you elaborate on this matter? Pour que pouvez-vous nous dire et avec qui travaillez-vous? Answer. At the work site, when I was assigned to dig the canals Sur le site de travail, and uh, build dams and dikes, there were chief of uh, mobile units for male and female. So I coordinate the work with the uh, chief of mobile units in the communes. We discussed uh, how the uh, work should be carried out, and we discussed Cast, uh, the no. canal should build uh, from uh, what to Sankai to Trapeang on that. And then we discussed uh, which canal uh, to be built uh, first and which canals to be built later on. And after that, uh, our forces uh, were divided. And uh, we also discuss about the measurement of the can uh, of the canals, uh, and I discuss uh, this work plan with uh, those people. Council, thank you very much. You mentioned that uh, you coordinated the work with the heads of the mobile units and also head of the communes. In terms of the coordination of the work. Well...